options. All right, I see us on Twitch. Where's the YouTube millennial pause time? Yeah. Millennial pause for the YouTube. Oh, YouTube, why are you being so slow? Oh, Google, why are you doing this? Oh, is it? I have a loading wheel on YouTube. I think my tab crashed. <laughs> oh, no, YouTube, like what have no you done tabs. to us? Oh, I even download more RAM. Or Ram. Eric says we're live. Eric says we're Eric live. Says we're there live. I am Eric live. live to us. Oh my god, I started hearing us from everywhere. I, here. I do. I hear us indeed. What's up, everybody? Before we get going, I got a surprise for you. I'm going to mute Marty. I'm going to mute me. You get this lovely ad. <gasps> Absolutely. Muted. that understands the importance of science in science fiction. The physics-based mining sim drops you in a world where every action has a reaction. Precision spaceflight means a mistimed thruster burst could lead to major ship damage or your hold barfing up all your precious minerals. Will you unravel the mystery of the rings or just spend your time getting rich? Because while money can't buy you everything, it can buy a ton of cool things like fission reactors, experienced crew members, or pogs. Delta V rings of Saturn may or may not contain 90s era schoolyard games, please consult a doctor if you remember Pogs, as you are old now. Delta V Rings of Saturn is available now, so head on over to its Steam page today. There's Marty, there's me. What's up, everybody? As stated, I'm Frost. This is Marty. We're together in a well-lit environment, playing alone in the dark. You were too scared to play this alone and in the dark. Yeah. So we are both here in well-lit rooms. Gonna, gonna need friends here. Marty seems to know a lot about this game. I've, I'm well, essentially going blind into the dark as I go I into know. this. I saw Hop. Hop's here. I saw. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, this. Uh, so Alone in the Dark, uh, for folks who don't know, is a, 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 a survival horror series that predates even Resident Evil. This came out in the early 90s, the original Alone in the Dark. Uh, and uh, it, was, it, it, it was very clear that Capcom looked at the original Alone in the Dark and was like, ooh, we should do that, but we should do it good, and we should do it better. And then Resident Evil was made. And it feels like since then, Alone in the Dark has like tried to reinvent itself a few times. There's always been a couple steps behind. Uh, and this is the most latest. Uh, the, the latest entry just came out yesterday. Uh, of, uh, it's, I believe it's like somewhat of a reboot or a reimagining of the original, but um, totally fresh game, as we see, starring... Uh, a good friend Hopper from Stranger Things and uh, Jody Comer from uh, Killing Eve. There you go. Other right, we're going in there. We're, we're going to see how it goes. I mean, first note, it's got jazz. I don't think Resident Evil has jazz. That might be why it didn't hook me in here. Uh, this is great, great opening soundtrack. Also had the ability to delete all saves, which let me tell you, it'd be nice to have more games that came out this week with an easy ability to delete saves and start a new save. <laughs> If only all the games uh, this week. Are, is that gonna be the is that gonna be the battle of twenty twenty four? Like saves. <laughs> Why are we forgetting our, saves? Our original plan was we were gonna play Dragon's Dogma today, and we only have the one copy, and it is in our shared Steam account, and it is it's seemingly just very difficult to start a new save file in that game. And so we're like, you know what? Fuck it. We'll play this, and Dragon's Dogma will be out tomorrow, and everyone will have it, and then we can play Dragon's Dogma later. There you go. Ooh. Look at this frog. Oh man, I love frogs. I love it. Some I was uh I saw there was a news story last night oh. about some frogs and I just I was looking at it, I was like, I fucking love frogs. This gator's about to get hit by a car. Oh no, they stopped. Nah, nah, nah. This cycle of life, frog eaten by gator eaten yeah. by car. <laughs> it's like if you give a mouse a cookie. What is oh menacing the model t oh baby oh look yeah, at us boy, louisiana and old model this looks t. like yeah this looks like old wheezy well, this is, um, right. this, i think this is the, this. the second game i've played within oh, a 12 month period where i'm in the bayou what's wrong with him all right oh i'm trying what's to think what the first game is the, the sherlock remake oh yeah Hogwarts. something like that he says a dark man is following him watching him at all times what do you make of it it's nonsense of course but i'd be lying if i said it didn't bother me you see it runs in my family possession no detective deteriorating melancholy oh practically every man well that's me <laughs> that's a very specific <laughs> thing to run in run your family oh yeah
But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Really quick, you started a new game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just a lot. Just, there's just, I feel like there's a lot of assumptions that we should know what's going on right now. And I'm like, who are these people? <laughs> Place is creepy. That's all we know. Place is creepy. That's true. Yeah. He's smoking. He's fine with it. Oh, it's very like, just, uh, what's his name? Stephen King, isn't it? I almost said Stephen Hawking. Yeah. <laughs> He's the Hawk King. Yeah. Scrap! Because, you know, they were at Hawkins, David Harbour, Strange Things, it all comes together. Think about it. Yeah. Uh, Tamo with a great point. I call bullshit on this car of this era being quiet enough to hold the conversation. I do feel like these kind of cars right. would be, like, as loud as jet engines. The, the old, like, hang, hang, you know? Like, <laughs> the old Studebaker. Oh, yeah. There we are. Here we are. Yeah, big, creepy place. It's warm here, too. I can feel it. Ooh. Oh, my God. Warm woods freak me out. This creep me out more than cold woods. Like, like, oh, like in Massachusetts. Yeah, I ain't scared of no witch. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I hear you. And what's yeah, my but these here is like ooh, couldn't get a bog kid. hag. That's different. Oh, oh, do you think there's gonna be a bog hag in this game? Probably not. <laughs> Just more gators. Look at you. Bipedal gators. You know what? I, I never clicked. David Harbor does kind of have a voice for noir. Um, which, sure. Which yeah. amazes me that Hellboy didn't do better because I, th I feel yeah. Hellboy is very like just PI. Might need to wave it God, that, I feel like that movie just that reboot came and went. Like yeah. no one talks about that anymore. Ron Perlman, exactly. he's so good. Yeah. We gonna do so good. We find Jeremy. I don't know. Let's just find him first. Oh man. It's it's the eyes in video games. It's always hard to get the eyes. Yeah. She's a character. one. Right. Oh. Emily or Jody? Oh, even as an actor, Jody yeah, Jody Comer. Comer and David and David Harbour. He had to have gotten bullied for that name, though. Poor thing. <laughs> there we hardly know. Uh, Sage One says, uh, "I'm not sure. Uh, I like the need to use face and voice of famous actors in games. Wouldn't it be just just be better to use their voices?" Uh, I mean, I think it kind of depends on the. I mean, first off, market, marketability. Hello? I'm sure some people might buy this who are like Stranger Things Andy. heads and are just like, I want to be him. Uh, when the facial capture is done really well, I think it's really impressive. Like, yeah. I think Death Stranding's version of it's really impressive. That uh, the the demo yesterday for the Captain America Black Panther game, um, Carrie Payton, who's playing uh, the Black Panther, like for that is just fucking outstanding. Um, this doesn't feel like it might quite hit that level i feel do it, like a chapter one though give us a chapter one that's good i'm gonna do that in the next cold take every section yeah. just Ooh, i like that with the typing out sounds oh yeah a little shock action and whatnot here we go i think if you have a distinct enough look about you it warrants uh that you mm -hmm. be preserved in a video game absolutely i think yeah. david harbour's got a very distinct uh, forehead yeah absolutely like where steve buscemi not being in a game that's an actual crime sure all right now what do you got here i tell you what she a little, she feel a little choppy, a little jittery, Marty. <laughs> like I oh. think that is uh, that is uh, an alone in the dark miracle. Let me see if I, I guess is it better for a controller, perhaps. Nah, really. That what we will trek on. All right. Uh, think of the garden been in the tip jar for four months. Thank you so much, Snake Frost, Marty. If you could voice act in the X Men cartoon, who would you want to be? And who do you think would suit you? What X Men would I want to be? Frost, can you pull off a Cajun accent? Can you, okay. you do? Oh, I love it. Did you do Gambit? In, uh, old friend. In Origins is a man who took my tags, looked head on a pair just like those. I was like, ooh, I love, I love, it. I love him. I was like, that's a missed opportunity. Absolutely. I think I'd prefer, I'd probably like Wolverine, honestly, just because. You no, know, who yeah. says Bub? Nobody that's says Wolverine. Bub, yeah, Wolverine. Yeah, yeah. And you just get to scream a lot. It might hurt your voice. Scream a you little. have to go into, like, berserker mode. Is he a though. screamer? Is he a berserker? Like, I think he's, like, a uh, like uh, an animalistic sure. growler. Sure. I think the fun ones would be um, Beast, Wolverine. Sure, Beast would be good. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about uh, Nightwalker. Alan Cummings made that look fun, at least. He did, yeah. And I like uh, I like the idea of... Uh, Nick Carl has this like religious, like he has a very yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Catholic upbringing, but then he's also literally a devil. Yeah. Guess we're getting garden keys. Garden key action, eh? All right. It's not one of those inspect the key. It's just like I have it. It's just that. That's it. Yeah. yeah I'll switch it on and off. 
Where is this light coming from? Oh, okay. Oh, his. Wait. Did they have little flashlights like that a hundred years ago? No way. <laughs> or whatever this game took place. The nipple light. No way. Yeah. That's sure. Like a barely moving his torso. But all right. <laughs> I like that this garage starts off as a car garage and then becomes a horse garage. It does, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's it's uh, it's a metaphor for the transition. It's from horse to car. There, yeah, this is a this is this is a time where the country was evolving. Holy cow! Okay, this is wacky because here I am moving camera, but unless you move his body, the camera doesn't move, so it is just constantly not synced in with itself. But uh, it is what it is. Beautiful. This is how games played back in eighteen seventy four. Where are we? What year is this? Uh, thirties, I, I thought. Sure, sure. Nineteen thirties. Uh, the original was set in 1920s Louisiana, and I believe this is like a, a reimagining of the original. So we'll say 20s Louisiana. There's the key. All right. <clears throat> Kitchen garden key. So like the key. Stick the key in. Beautiful. Bam. Open it up. Who's there? No gun yet. I don't feel oh, safe. Nice. What do we got here? Is that a gun? Bullets. Pistol bullets. So I could throw them at people. That's good. That's halfway to a gun. That's almost a gun, yes. Just make him choke on it. Oh wait, what was that? Am I just ah? I do have a pistol. Okay, go on, get it now. Whoa. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. Just looking for a ghost is all. Jonathan Ross, Jack is uh, Professor X. I think Jack could pull. You're just saying that he's bald, <laughs> but Jack could. If he, he he. I feel like he could. He could. Uh, if he was sitting in a chair, he would command all of our respect. I think so. Yeah, I love that. It was, um, what's his name? James McAvoy, when they got him to be Professor X. He was so excited, mm -hmm. he shaved his head. And they were like, no, we need him to have hair for the start yeah. of this. So I think he was wearing a wig throughout that because he shaved his head. <laughs> what do you got there? Oh, little scraps in there. I can't reach. I can't shoot it down. Yeah, apparently that new, uh, uh, the new X-Men cartoon is really good. X-Men 97. It's like a continuation of the old 90s X-Men cartoon. You see, LeBron was asking about that. Yeah, he's like, where do I watch this? <laughs> where do I watch it? And I'm like, oh, Disney, you have a problem if like people don't know that all this Marvel shit is watched on uh, your yeah, platform. This man was in Space Jam. How does he not know? How does he not get a free subscription? <laughs> oh, what's going on here? Oh, this lovely. is a fancy room. Mm -hmm. They got an inside-outside room. They do. Best kind of outsides. And yeah. so it's very Look at that tree. Uh, weeping willow. Grandma Willow here, Pocahontas. Oh, yeah. Very Shout out to Poke. Wallace and Gromit, Curse of the Way Around. Huh? What? Uh, John Lee, they did not cancel the show. No, I'm sure it's going to be renewed for more seasons. The uh, They parted ways with the showrunner under strange, abrupt circumstances. Oh, well, um, and the details of that have not come out yet, but... Nah, show was not canceled. Just uh, more keys. All right, so it's a we got a lot of keys. Also, how do we know like what keys those are? Yeah, right. It doesn't differentiate when I know he doesn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, poor guy. Okay, find key, unlock door, housekeeper key. Gotcha. Beautiful. Man, I could really. How do skeleton keys music. work? What do you know? I don't yeah. understand how like one key that fits them all works. It really. doesn't fit them all. It's not supposed to. That's a bad I thought lock. That's, I thought that's a skeleton key. Yeah, it's a skeleton key, but each skeleton key is shaped differently, like a normal key. But, no, wait. What? It's the teeth. The teeth are different, yeah. Yeah, but isn't the point of a skeleton key that it can open all locks? No, that's a master key. A skeleton key is a genre. It's just a style. No, that can't be true. Yeah. Have I been, lived <laughs> over three decades... Could just completely fuck it up the definition of a skeleton key. <laughs> oh I no! So, you know. I mean, to be fair, it really hasn't come up a lot. Like it hasn't hampered my little. Oh, did you say a little rat? A little rat guy. He's trying to tell me to go away. A bibble. Nice. Oh, a family bibble. It's a clue. Oh, that's too many words. Oh, that's too no. many words. That's too many words. Here for everyone, and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. All right, so there's a cult. Pictures okay. of dust covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth or... All right. Sacred sand, black cat oil. Yeah. Great. See, I've always been wondering, why not just have some inner monologue where he's just like, man, I don't seem she was spooked about some kind of cult. 
And then that's like, give me the synopsis through the character himself. That would be a great way of putting you in the the role of the character. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. not reading the thing. You are getting what the. Or it'd be funny if like you pick something up and the character is like, I'm not reading this. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. Out and it's like, well, you got the gist of it because this character wouldn't read this whole thing. Yeah, a little personality going through here. Not much motion in the character. I seem to just be opening everything with my nipples. <laughs> <laughs> now, Listen, you got you got your nipple provides oh lots, oh, lots of pigs back here. Oh. Uh, your nipple provides light, and your nipple provides a door opening. Uh, SVS Guru with a five euro dono. Thank you so much, SVS Guru. Having deja vu right now. Haven't you talked about skeleton keys before? I don't believe so. Probably. I don't know. Hello. I don't know. I also have a very bad memory. So got a bottle of Great Depression. Nice. Delicious. All was that? What is a great? Oh no, it's. Th- <laughs> Those are the different yeah. things. What is that word? What? It's the top right corner. What? Sets completed? Vagabonds. No, top right corner. Top right. Lanyapis. 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 What the fuck is that? Yeah. What is absolute that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No mixed meats, though, here. Same hog. This is good. One hog to ah. rule them all. Lanyapis are non essential items that carry over from game to ma- game. Some steps can't even be completed without playing both of Carnby and Emily's campaign. Interesting. Why are they called that? Okay, so they're like surely collectibles. It's, yeah. Why not? Why don't we just call them that? Not lanyaps. Pronounced lanyap. <laughs> lanyaps. Okay. Uh, uh, Eric, thank you so much for a dono. Sorry, not sorry, Frost, but you should set your graphics uh, to max and then get behind your PC so you can give us a review of your <laughs> GPU spill. <laughs> with the Steam Deck exhaust that we were talking about. Uh, <laughs> I become obsessed. I'm like crawling behind my TV trying to get the mm. that fork. What you running? TV. Yeah, what you for? <laughs> Cyberpunk. <laughs> More bullitos. All right, for my pistol. I do like it. If anything, I know having a gun makes you feel a little safe, but having a gun with limited bullets makes makes it, it distresses me more than having no gun. Yeah, you're like, well, I have this gun, but I don't want to use it at all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because what if something bigger and scarier comes? I wonder why they made it so he has a nipple flashlight, not an actual flashlight. And not that's holding a choice. It. Yeah, it's an active choice. Especially he's not, like, doing things with his... Other hands. You know, he's not really, like, using his hands too much. Not really, no. This reminds me of the beginning of uh, Resident Evil 7, which was also, I believe, in Louisiana... And also had you coming upon a family house that uh, where the people had disappeared and also had things like kitchens where food was still on the table. And didn't have a weird little sex dungeon, though. This Could is, be a normal dungeon. Is, yeah, this is a normal sex wine dungeon. A lot of hey, rats. That's creepy. Don't do that. Oi, am I locked rats. in now? Oh, okay. Just want to oh, be sure. You never thank know. God it's one of those doors that opens in both directions. Yeah. It's a push and a pull. Yeah. It's a plush door. Uh, Big Herm with a great point. He should have a miner's helmet that has a, a, a light on it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That was John Blade, not Big Herm. Oh, uh, so that has a, it's another land has a light on it. God dang it. What's the point of non-essential items? In, hold on. Non-essential items, collect them ups in a uh, investigation game feels like a, a wrong choice. It feels like they're essential like it feels like everything should be essential unless that's like your thing is you want to have to suss through what is important and what is unimportant like if that is a mechanic i I guess i suppose sure sure yeah it's also just making me go like oh that's not worthwhile none of it is i need the key Uh, classic oh no i've gotten to be in a game and voice the i need the key line it's the it's the peak of my (laughs) that's how you know you've made it oh yeah i need a key it's so good and again and again because you're gonna need a lot of keys (laughs) you gotta need a key Let's go down there. That's where the spookity boogity hops out of me. Ah! No, it's my forehead. That fan's still on, still warm, eh? Now those are yeah, steam deck fumes spooky. right there. Oh, oh, that's that fumes. We love those fumes. fumes. A clue. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Sabotage. Let's wait for Mr. Chase. He's sabotaging a boiler. He can take a look at them. Somebody doesn't like boilers. And obviously it's going to do the like, uh, steam hurts. Oh my God. This is like Vaporum. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, okay. Close boilers. This is how boilers work. All right. Do we need to find a piece or do we need to do a big old shifty? Uh, I think we have to find the pieces. It's not letting me actually shift anything. So uh, yeah, I think it is just. 
who would make a pieces. boiler like this? Why would anyone make a boiler like this? <laughs> like what? That is so just out there. <laughs> Let's see what uh, what pain feels like in this game real quick. And a valve. Yes. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, it's classic. I feel like he could just like crawl under. Yeah, it. like can I crawl? Yeah, let's. Oh, that's just why it's David Arbor. He, he's too tall. In real he's life. too tall. He's too much man. Can't crouch under that, unfortunately. Just like, uh, all that barely does anything to your health, which is which is oh, good. That's ridiculous. Uh, uh, Eric, thank you so much for another donut. Talking about RE Seven, have you beaten Ethan? Must die. If you didn't, I demand a stream of it. It's extra hard roguelike from the DLC. What are you are you saying that of me? Because that is the opposite of what I want. I want fucking so, no rogue, extra easy. <laughs> sounds like uh, what I want. <laughs> what is the opposite of permadeath? No, no a death. <laughs> That's so that sounds like what I want. But like Sans is the Resident Evil at the start of it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Same with the new God of War. Um, the roguelike, the roguelike thing, yeah. bit. I was like, I can actually... I get that without the game? <laughs> what, if, what if what if there's uh this hold the God of War? Uh, Fungus Finder with a two dollar donor. Congrats to Eric on his one hundred fifth super chat. Yeah, Eric, every one of your super chats says it's your fifth super chat, and that's a goddamn lie. <laughs> a lot of rats, a lot of open so many rats. things with my nipples, so my dong. Hello, okay. Just leaving your purse there? Yeah. You want to take a shit? You left your purse? This is this is Chekhov's purse. This is what I'm talking about in video games. Like yeah. if that purse is there, I want something around that purse. Otherwise, just no need for the purse. Chekhov's purse. Chekhov's purse. Yeah. Oh, there's a little religious bedroom. This feels like a key room. Oh! A map. Nice. Derseto. Flor What's Derseto? Is that the name of the mansion? I'm not sure. Maybe. Is that where we are? Oh, multiple floors. Okay. And the Piazza Keys. Piazza Keys. Where you find assorted pizzas. What's the, pi the Piazza? The Piazza Plaza? Piazza in the medicine box. No, I need the medicine key for the medicine box. All right. So Mike Piazza was a baseball player. He was a catcher this for has the been New York Mets. Key and lock the video game for now. Oh. oh. Shout out to Stephen King's son. A little little drink. Stephen Lock. <laughs> Stephen Lock. All right. Almost throws me off in the like uh, that that uh, was that Sherlock Holmes game did that too where it was just because we have the graphic capability we just have. The world full of things, a lot of non-essential things, but they're full of things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he would do something irreversible. irreversible. Okay. Cassandra's oh, upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Fritz brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there. On There's a strange rot permeating in the house. Weird things going on here. That's not good. I am alone in the house. Very well lit. Hold I to open the map. Oops, sorry. Hold I to open the map. There it is. So we want to go to... What's this... Um, What was the one mark on the map? What? Uh, That's... Like the, the, the... Yeah, to the left and a little down of you. This like red triangle. That thing? Yeah, what's that? I think that's just the lock. Wait. Let the, the piazza would be right... Behind there? me? Or is this the piazza? Looks like... Library? The piazza. This, this, oh, this, wait, this door on the left. Yeah, this might be the piazza. This is a library. Did I say piazza? No. Is a piazza a library? I don't, you worked in a library. Yeah, I didn't work in an Italian library. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is, is a piazza? I believe a piazza is a, the, like plaza, right? Like a square, like a town square. Maybe. Is that what a piazza, a piazza is? Chat, there's got to be there's got to be some Italians in chat. What's some going Italians. on? <laughs> What's going on? Nazi scalps. <laughs> I want my scalps. Yeah. Uh, servant stairs up down. It's hard to tell. If this is like at the bottom. Oh, these are all locked doors. Yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah. at least it's mar It's doing the 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 uh, Silent Hill thing where if you open a door and it's locked, it tells you that's good. Yeah, okay, that's nice. Yeah, that's the library. This should be the door for the piazza, and I have the piazza key. Open. Okay, yeah. That's me. Oh. Stupid. No, 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 no. Hey, buongiorno. What? Yeah, this look, is a piazza. Let's loop back. It's a Metroid. Oh, it's a Metroid Mania? <laughs> <laughs> Miyazaki, you've done it again. Oh, my God. It's a, it's a Miyazaki like, dear God. <laughs> and there was, a, there was that piece of broken uh, nonsense. Down in the well, so I gotta find something to get that. 
Piazza broken. Mm, Piazza broken, Ern. This is a. Uh, oh, oh, look at that bear. Uh, I hope it comes to life. Um, this. Uh, I feel like it's introducing a lot right away in terms of the mansion. Like, usually it's like, oh, we'll put you in this small wing and you won't be able to go anywhere. It just feels like we're able to go in a lot of places. So I'm like, is this important? Is yeah, this where we should be going? Yeah. Micro open world exploration. Yeah. Like I said, it's it's coming back this year. like Why? I see. I turn my back and then the bear gets me. I know it. Ah! It was real. <laughs> what do we think Jody Comer is doing right now? Why aren't we together, like, exploring as a team? I don't know. It'd be... Rubber stamp. Like, uh... Oh, it's a lang, it's a lang the apple. Lang the apple. Uh, a lang yep. Uh, not important. The Sherlock game did that, where it's like Sherlock goes off into this fever dream, and Moriarty, or not Moriarty, Watson's like, "Where's he gone?" <laughs> and you get to play as him for a little bit, and like he's tweaking. The Great Depression. Oh God, so much to read. Right. Wait, so this said clue? Like we don't yeah. have to actually read it, do we? American labor. Read it. Following the collapse of the voodoo, Wall Street voodoo. stock market on October 24 last year, American industry has suffered greatly. Thousands of companies have gone back uh, ah. and left a large part of the American workforce oh, yeah. unemployed. In an this is an asylum, time, okay. The Smoot Holly Tariff Act. This place is an asylum? Apparently so, yeah. That's the rumor is that this is a, this is an asylum. I don't know if it means asylum like a, the, an actual location or like just the verb, not the verb, the adjective. Sure, Seeking sure, sure, asylum, sure. you know. Well, yo, no things to not pick up because you don't have a little circle, so why bother? Yellow paint would be nice. Oh, barricaded from this on in. A lot of people putting chairs up against doors. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, here. right? Can I just blow the lock off? Oh, that'd be funny if anybody showed up. Pink. Can't pet the dog, can ring the bell. Oh. <laughs> That's the important thing. Yep. Uh, I need a key. Of course I need a key. Can I just fit through that? <laughs> like, <laughs> I feel like David Arbor's shoulders are too wide. That's uh, the problem. That's why him specifically. He's too yeah. tall to get over steam. He's too wide to get through these. If you went in diagonally, holy hell, that bear got me. Uh, <laughs> oh. Cutscene. I just went in there, didn't I? I didn't, it didn't trigger. Oh, there she is. Okay. Oh. What are you doing? Who are you? Who are you? Oh, Excuse me. My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry, sorry ma'am, I've also stolen I'm so many keys and bullets from the house. And do you want these back? The door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. Don't Flappers. Easy, Uncle Darling. Flappers. Am I right? She has that Hartwood groove, doesn't she? That's right. I'm Emily Hartwood. I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, okay. he's unavailable right now. He will have to come back another day. Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Who's your man again, Miss <laughs> <He>, Hotwood? <coughs> I feel like the direction that they gave Carby, him was a little. <laughs> private investigator. <laughs> a little yeah. Candid. And then, now you're oh, curious, but not, not like that. <laughs> yeah. Keep your eyes on the child. And you two, please leave immediately. Look, we're not here to cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. The whole Feels staff like we should worry. <laughs> it's never good that someone went missing. He mm -hmm. ran off? I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. All right, in that case, we'll just wait in his room. You don't mind, do you? It's upstairs, right? Wait, you can't. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. In the corridor, it's the first door on your left. I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. Ugh. Thank you, madam. She, she went quick. from you can't yeah. to here's the go. Him too, where it's like, I, I'm just here to help. Don't I know you? Yeah. I'm just going to barge in. I'll be all right. I don't trust his family. They're all villains. <clears throat> I don't trust his rolled up rug. It's going to turn into a monster. Yeah. Good tonal shift though. Went from very isolated to now like, oh, people. Yeah, and you're like, oh, kind of weirdos. What's yeah. going on with these weirdos? <laughs> More clues. Is that just? Oh. Is just everything a clue? Any junk you find as a PI is a clue. Everything's a clue. She just gone. 
I thought we were going to be looking. She's in the together. trunk. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. We got to get her out. She, she climbed in and it closed gone. after her. Oh, no. There she is. I'm just, I'm just blind. Oh, there she is. Uh, mailman with a five dollar dono thank you so much mailman horror game getting a six to seven out of ten on average so that means this game is going to have a cult following in 10 years yes yeah, it's one of those games that got a lot of uh it got some some pretty high reviews and then a lot of low reviews so i have a feeling this will be one that uh gets a critical reappraisal or you're gonna have some people who are really banging the drum on this is what survival horror used to be <clears throat> we used to have to read books and scrap heaps yeah, I like when he reads the things. You hear it in the voice of the person who wrote it, as opposed to like David Harbor reading it. Yeah, yeah. Why are the clues so long? The land yeah. gaps are the nice. Oh, length. oh, there's oh. one of our tiles. Look at that for the boiler. Okay, right. Yep, I think that was for the boiler. That's uh, that's what it looked like. I think we need two. That's good. Uh, what you got here? Aha. Wait, what's... Oh wait, it's not for the it's not for the boiler, it's for this thing. <laughs> what is it with everybody and the um what the Yig's Drazzle, the, the life tree? Yeah, people love that life tree. What is going they go on? go nuts there? for it. Yeah. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, okay. Uh you go here and then you go here. Boom. Look at that. That was pretty oh, easy. Oh, nice. Big brain. Huge. What kind of stuff we got in here? Hey. You know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. No, I don't. Definitely looks like a talisman. Yeah, a, absolutely. A first glance talisman. I wasn't going to say a pocket watch. I was definitely going to say a I talisman. Was like, that's a telescope. <laughs> yeah, I would have killed a guy, throw some of this stuff out. I'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around. Why is he acting like that's so heavy? That's it's heavy. It's just like oh, David Arbor. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they didn't have muscles back then. Yeah, yeah. It's all that boiled meat, pickles. <laughs> it's not a bodybuilding diet. Protein, yeah. huh? <laughs> oh wow, that's striking. Sure, kind of looks like Willem Dafoe, but I don't think it is. But I would love if Willem Dafoe popped up. Okay. I want you to make a painting of me. Oh, what kind of a facial expression do you have? I just want to look fucked up terror. Diarrhea. It's like real scary. Uh. Wait, was that a real? Oh, yeah, she took it. Never mind. All right. Come on. I want to go see Dr. Gray. Oh, the tinnitus. Is this our hearing? The tinnitus from the war. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> nah, she is. That's her name. Ah! And the door gets stuck on me. No, no. Oh, she's gone. Oh, oh yeah. Emily? I love when it's in my head. Yeah, we don't know what's going on. I love those kinds of games. Gaslight me. Feel free. They're not the window. Ah! What the hell is going on? Where am I? I mean, I'm back oh, home. Oh, it's like a city now. Oh, we in Nolans? What's happening? A little Mardi Gras? Oh, we're in Nolans. Best oh my God! Corner store. Can I jump Go to off? Bourbon Street. Get a hurricane. Oh, baby. delicious! Little skull, little voodoo it's, action. Oh no! Get some beignets. Mmm. Oh, lovely. Every culture's got their fried donut, and I love them all. Oh yes. Is that not an illusion? Is it just like the back door is over, overrun and then it goes to the street? Yeah, I don't know what's... I don't, I, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. Wow. Like, he feels like he got really weirded out by stuff and I'm still not sure how different everything is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it still seems like the same house to me. I don't know. Exactly. But we just didn't know what's... Okay, this is definitely... Ayo? Oh, that looks like a spooky. That absolutely looks like a spooky. Oh, come on. Look at how he's shambling. Or a drunk. Or a drink. Yeah, it could be a drunk. <laughs> so, spooky or a drunk. See here, stealth option or just dome them in the head? That's the question. Uh, fungus finder with a $2 dono. Etouffe? Or is it etouffe? Mofiladas? Hand grenades? Hurricanes? What's a hand grenade? What? I know what a hand grenade is. What? What was that? What the just happened? was so delayed. All right, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Only on that first shot. Yeah. Maybe it's the tinnitus. We'll blame everything on the tinnitus. The other one ran off. 
No. So what is he just uh he's like a bush a bushman? I think so, yeah. Grassy knolls there. Oh no. What is what is etouffee? I feel like I, is that a shrimp thing? Et, etouffee? Um Yeah, it's French. Is that not a drink? No, it's like a little uh etouffee is a dish found in Cajun Creole cuisine. A shellfish over rice. That sounds it's lovely. Kind of like a gumbo a little bit. Etouffee. Fancy gumbo. Yeah. Etouffee brute? No, just the salad for me. Can't Thank you. Bullets in the trash. God, America used to be a country. <laughs> My favorite is uh, Bioshock Infinite, where uh, you can find pineapples in the toilet, and you eat the pineapples, and you get a health pack. Oh, oh, oh all right. There's a lot happened there. Uh oh. Yeah, where am I? Cool. No parking. <laughs> Courtesy box for auto patrons. Weird that you teach me to sprint now. Yep. Left that or right? Great. Uh, right feels right. <laughs> well, you haven't had to run from anything before. The yeah. house was chill. Right does feel right. Yeah. Let the headlights guide you. Items can be thrown. Big pardon? Uh, like what items? Hey, yo. Be very, very quiet. <laughs> I don't know. Keeps telling me items can be thrown at enemies. You items can be thrown to distract I don't see an enemy. Where? The car. <laughs> we need something to distract. Am I distracting the car? What's going on? There? Ooh, trash bullet. Hold on. Yes, sir. You buy. Yeah. Oh, it's empty. Delicious. Uh, oh. Of course I need a key. Oh, nice. Oh, that's it. Let's go. All right. Don't need bullets. Wait. How do I? Oh. I thought that was a monster, but it was a bike. And then I thought the other thing was a monster, but it was a room. <laughs> but they both scared me. <laughs> Why is it? Okay, sure. Ring the bell for my own sanity. <laughs> sure. All right. What's in my hand? It felt like, it gone? It felt like this should oh. have been like, oh. Oh, is this an item? What? What? That is so janky. What? There's no one to distract. What was that? <laughs> that feel that felt contextual. Like you have to be by the thing to be able to use it. And but you just I, threw it and just something smushed and I didn't know what was happening. Yeah, like I can't pick this up. I have to be next to it and then tap and then there it goes. And, and there's still not, no like, one how here. Get thrown and it kind of just like jutted over to the side. I don't know. I've never made a game. I'm not judging. Yeah, I don't know. You know what? This, this, I feel like this is probably hard to do. Dun, 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 dun. All right, hold on. Map. Your map is no use here. I had the feeling. <laughs> well, I guess we got to find a key then. Dun, 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 dun. Can we enter any uh, of the oh, buildings? That's not real. That's not real. Do any of the buildings have lights on? Ah, probably a key in a trash can somewhere. So this is a red light, metaphorically stating this is not the right way. So we're going to go to the other crossing. What about, yeah, there's this building with the lights on. Can we go in there? That one. That's where I came from, isn't it? Oh, it's Hotel St. Oh, George. What about this one? Yeah. No, this is like a, something to conquer. Oh. Another hatchet? A pipe. Okay. Garbage hatchet? A little pipe action. Nice. It's it's already pre-bloody, too, which is nice. How did I know? Ah! Oh, shoo. Please go. On. Oh, oh, all right, all right, yeah. Why did is... the did the pipe shatter? Yeah, why is that a thing? <laughs> oh man, weapon durability. Also, you were swinging, just like not swinging uh, to like harm. You were kind of just like moving back yeah, and just forth. Like, eh. What's in this build? What is this? Johnny the Conqueror? The building is called Johnny the Conqueror. Roots and medicine. It's a pharmacy. All right, go away. Let us in. We need the pharmacy. Oh. Far oh. Johnny the pharmacist will help us. This is the least menace. Oh, he's behind me. He's behind me. Oh, there's a couple of them. There's a lot of grassy knolls there. Holy cow. There's conflicting gameplay here, and they're not made for each other. <laughs> divorce. Divorce, divorce. Oh, no. Just, just a little spanky in the booty. Don't worry. Reloading. Don't lose bullets. That's good. Be gone. And... I keep hearing that sharp, like, twang, like, somebody You're like, is that a new one? Yeah. Is there, like, another one behind us? I don't know. Okay, I think we've done it. Johnny the Apothecary will help us. 
Johnny, let us enter your store. Yeah, if nothing Give else, sundries. like drugs. You know. Oh, we can open his door. There we go, Johnny. All that. Oh, cutscene. We get to meet Johnny. Who do you think is going to play Johnny? Brendan Fraser. <laughs> the mummy man himself. Oh. Yep, that was right. Brendan Fraser. Don't let him get inside. Are you? Is this your store? There are no owners here. We both strangers in Jeremy's store. Jeremy did this. How? A pack with the dog man. Jeremy warned us, but we didn't think much of it. I'm Detective Edward Carnby. I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Oh yeah? How much you paying me? Hundred and fifty dollars. Two. <laughs> a lot back that seems like a lot. No seems like a lot. No, sir. No, not if I can help it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think Jeremy's hiding in a way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace. Got some. The talisman? That's right. It's some magic charm he got from Miss Jackson down the street. Ooh. The priestess. <laughs> I, I am for real. <laughs> yeah, the mama Lola. Here, take the key. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you can find some clues to show you the way. Thanks. I'll have a look. Oh, apparently John the Conqueror is a voodoo thing. Oh. So like John the Conqueror is a thing. Oh, Batista's key. Dave Batista's key. Two belong in the Seto, one in the clerk's office, one for the library. Back to the creepy mansion. Yeah. We're doing it. Preserved reptile. Uh, Jeremy Gola with a two dollar dono. I do not appreciate all these accusations. Accusations. You know what, Jeremy? We wouldn't be accusing you if you didn't go and make a spooky world. Yep. Yep. Everything was fine in Louisiana until Jeremy dreamt up a spooky town. Yep. Jeremy's drinking again. Look what he. Oh did. no, Jeremy. Jeremy spoke in class today. Mm -hmm. All right, he's already going. Ooh, yeah. He's looking okay. out. All right, Mister. So we gotta use our Dave Batista key oh, on various Batista, Batista doors. Oh boy. Um, let's see here. Boom. Of course. Let's see here. Said she was down the way. Oopsies. She was down the way, but then also in the house. So I got the keys for there. He said go to Miss Jackson down the street, but he's looking the other way. So I'm not sure if he meant this door. <laughs> I can just go around. Yes, yeah, what's just like street? What I'm curious um, about is like health. What does this game use for health? Oh. Uh, drink. Drinking. All right. That's the flask. Sure. Which is just hooch. Ooh, yes. Delicious. Oh, okay. There you go. Your health on the right hand side. Okay. Left hand side too. Yeah. We're supposed to go this way, or we're supposed to go down the other. Uh, I'm not I know where sure. it wants us to go. What's going on here? I have one of these two now. Ah, shoot. Okay. He's fine. Trash juice. <laughs> Who oh, amongst us I'm has not drank a little bit of trash juice? A little trash juice. Oh. A little trash hooch. Oh, there's a feller. Oh, a new fella. Maybe that's oh, what I was supposed to distract. Oh, and he just wasn't there? <laughs> yeah. It's always funny when yeah, when games let you play things out of sequence, but then they don't yeah. make any sense. Yeah. It makes sense. Now that you see this guy, you're like, oh, yeah, he's a big guy. We we, we would want to oh. distract him. <laughs> no, we probably just, it was what's the opposite of a distraction? <laughs> Where it comes distraction. <laughs> It's an attraction. It's an attraction, yeah. No, he doesn't need me, right? Yeah. He seems fine. He seems fine. Oh, oh, what? Like, these contextual rocks? What? Oh, I kept viewing it as, like, Wolverine's fist with three claws coming out no, of it. And then I realized it was a rock with throw lines. Yeah. This was, okay, sure. I feel like there's no sound. This man doesn't have sound. There is no oh, sound. He's found he us. Heard he's us, found us. He heard me. The clap of my ass. <laughs> David Harbour's jinx. What? It's no, not real. Oh, no, no, he's real. He's just okie doke. Yoke doke. Oh my god, this is worse on control. Oh my god, he's got such little legs. Look at his little legs. Brother. I don't want to body shame, but look at his little legs. Oh, oh he's got ya. Uh, he's got he stun locked ya by the Studebaker. The Studebaker. Not the Studebaker. Right, oh, can we go this? Is this the Bastille door? I think so. Oh, my goodness. The John Batista door? There it is. All right. 
It's very like dead space in that way. I wish I could kick yeah, it. Yeah, like a necromorph. Yeah. Baptiste keys. Nice. Hell yeah. Poor bastard. Off we go. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, Icos, this is uh, David Harbour, the actor from Stranger Things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if it looks like them, that is why. It's completely coincidence. It is just, yeah. Uh, I'll fucking find it with a $2 oh. dono. Jesus, what was that? Um, thank you so much. Uh, do not drink liquids found on the ground in New Orleans. What if someone spilled their, their hooch and you get some ground hooch? Yeah. Well, ground fluids. It. Never hurt nobody. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. He's getting really angry with that hatchet. Just making sure it works. This guy is durable. I got six bullet cells. No, come on. Come on. Oh, there's too many guys. There's too, too many, many guys. I should have put on easier. Too many dudes. My ex. Oh, what a. Prick. Oh, we got Juju. But I have a lane yet. Can I, like, roll? Am I stuck here forever and ever, right, man? All right, can I daze you and leave? How's that? No, I'm stuck here. Oh, go! Oh, a QTE! Oh, cuties! Oh, oh cutie That one world would never... I'm stuck! <laughs> He's too big! I got a drink! Why couldn't <laughs> this been like Danny DeVito? I gotta get my drink on! I said, let's just pick the most cumbersome man in existence. Here, distract these. Shoot. I don't like that it said you got bullets, and then it said one bullet. Yep. And I was like, that's just a bullet. <laughs> a bullet. If you're going to use the plural, give me several. <laughs> you rude game. All right. Okay. All right. What do we got here? All right. Everything's calm. This is, can't be a combat room. Too small. Yeah. It's a puzzle room. It's now a combat room. clearly Miss Jackson's seance parlor. Mm -hmm. It's the gaming room in here. Well. Talisman. Neat. It's a gamer's a gamer's talisman. Oh, yeah. Gives an impression of hiding a picture within itself. But I can't I can't mess with it. You know, there's no no tangible nature to this thing. Mm. It keeps making me feel like Yeah, I'm... I like uh, I like in Resi, you can kinda the move the item in three D space, yeah. flip it over some some things you need to interact with. Oh. Ah spoke too soon. What you know? Okay. Oh uh -huh. all right. Rotate the disc, switch the disc. I think it needs numbers like coordinates. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. All right, Jeremy. Where's your right, notes Jeremy, at? keep your Lord. secrets. Lasting debt, telegram. Who's Jeremy again? Oh, that's right. It's the client. Jeremy's the one who's done, who's made this. Oh, wait. The right thing said something in Jeremy's thoughts. 358. Oh, no. There it's... it is. Oh, yeah. 358. No. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so... I can't even see. I think it just starts at three. Wait, three, five, eight. Oh, I see big numbers too, but I don't know if it means three here or five there. Switch disc. Ah, okay, there it is. Tiny one, little tinier one, three at the top. And then five. And then eight. Five. What's that, happening? Is that not it? I have no idea what's happening. Three there. Oh, okay. Hold on this way. Three. Mother. I wait. Really, <laughs> I, I hope you know what's happening because I don't understand. I'm anything. solving the puzzles. I don't understand anything. This is goofy looking. Do we want to go three five eight from outside to inside or inside to outside? I am not sure if like Gotta which direction. It, there's also numbers on the outside of the outside. I'm like, which do you want exactly? That's a nine, I think. Or six. One, two, three, four. There's a five. Three or five and eight. Is the outside the eight? There's eight. No, it probably just wants your inside. It doesn't want like the numbers <laughs> that are outside these three circles. Are you sure? Like, and then there's no five. There is a five, but technically not. Oh, I see. I think. I had it, and then I thought too much, and now the thought's gone. <laughs> Don't you just say We got that. 358. I can't believe we got 358-ed by this thing. Wait, the, uh... I see arrows pointing here, too. Like, they gotta match up in a way. So, okay, let me explain this so far. You got 
Three different discs, one on the inside, one on the outside, and one on the furthest outside. If you move the furthest outside, it moves all the other ones on the inside. So it stands to reason that you should move the outside one alone and then the inside ones as they uh, will not affect the other ones respectively. I think you just want to make us... So is this the three and then the five and then the eight, or is it the other way? Um. Okay, fine. Hey, three and then... Five, and then... Yeah, I think you need to okay. rotate this one and get okay. the three. three. There was also an arrow. Is this a puzzle? Yeah. Is this one of those puzzles where you solved it and you're like, I'm still not entirely sure what I did? <laughs> oh, yeah. I have those puzzles a lot where I'm like, yeah, we, we got it done. And then we looked in and what? There was a picture? Oh, the door crept open. Crept open, but it's all right because it's still got some loot to do. No, no loot to do. All right, just making sure. Boom. Gutscene. Detective, I was wondering when you were going. Jeremy. To... Mrs. Thompson. I don't know if it's Jeremy. You were here. I understand you are working for Jeremy Hartwood's niece. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, you're not wrong. We came here for her uncle. I just didn't expect. I didn't expect this. You are Dr. Gray, right? That's right. You don't happen to have some identification, detective. I'm not keen on having strangers prying into my business. Oh, Detective Edward Carnby, Decatur Street, New Orleans. We're talking about Disco Elysium, the what was his detective? name? Those old French quarters. Who are Disco Elysium? People, the main guy. The gangsters. I'm sure the one you play. An exciting life. Oh, John, uh, John Disco. <laughs> Just trying to make a living. Aren't we all making a living? Harry Dubois. There you go. To detective. I hope your time here will be useful. Now, what can I do for you? Why don't you tell me where I can find Jeremy? Uh, Keeper Day with 100 bits. He really be sounds be like a younger easy. Harrison Ford. I wish I could Maybe a little softer you. version. Yeah, I get a little bit of a Deckard from uh, Blade Runner. Yeah. The original cut of Blade Runner. Brandy. Oh, yeah, I can you see do that. belong in the yeah. French quarters, detective. He's just, you can't sit on the chair when you're just bleeding all over the place. Having low standards is not a virtue, Detective. Oh. Let me see if I can broaden your perspective. What can you tell me about Jeremy? Oh. I wouldn't want to go into details about his condition. Doctor patient confidentiality. Yeah. I'm sure. Hippocratic oath and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Sure. But he is I don't think that's what that is. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those oaths. It's part of it. The long oath. <laughs> the, the oath that keeps me on the wall in the north. <laughs> oh, good. Got a bite. It's called a sidecar. Hmm, sidecar. Sidecar. Get rid of the tartness of the lemon. Then, for goodness sake, don't overdo the triple sec. Okay. What can you tell me about Jeremy? Oh, also, who I are those bush monsters? <laughs> yeah, Phil, I'd an have other man. questions as well. <clears throat> he's he's, he's more composed than me. themselves according to his model of predestination. He complains about things not being carried out in the right order and that some things simply shouldn't be. Is any of this helpful to you? Don't. Uh, I'm really. surprised you didn't uh, ask me for input. For some direction where to look next. I'm sorry. I have nothing for you then. You should talk to my orderlies. They have been looking for him for a while now. I'm sure they would appreciate your help. Yeah, I ran into Batiste earlier. Come to think of it, he... He might have given me a lead. Oh, excellent. So your investigation is already underway. I'm gonna go. But I'm sure we'll meet again. Do you guys think an Eldridge Looking or psychotic? Am I the problem Ooh. or is it Cthulhu? It's a good question. That's a great question. Yeah. Chapter two. We did a whole chapter. I'm shocked. We got through a whole chapter. Hmm. We didn't have to use any walkthroughs or wikis or anything. Nothing. No. Get bent in game facts. <laughs> Detective Carney. How did you... Where did you go? I was just talking to Dr. Gray. You disappeared. No. 
It's not what you think. Have you... Have you found anything strange going on here? Yes. Everyone is being incredibly evasive and I can't figure out why. No, what do you mean, it's not funny. what you think? What does he think she explain. thinks? Paranormal. Not sleeping with your sister in that room, I promise. <laughs> I wasn't thinking that. I don't know why you said that. Forget it. Well, now I am. I'll figure it out. Do you want to come see Dr. Gray? No. I want to, I want to try something else. With his talisman, I think I can follow Jeremy at the place he mentioned in the book. What was the name? You remember also, why is not why is she not asking? Why are you covered in blood? <laughs> you are bleeding no. from the armpit, from the back. No. Why? Why do you assume Spanish too in Louisiana? Why not French? <laughs> yeah, of course. Go talk to Doctor Gray. We'll rendezvous. He even said rendezvous. That's a French word. Oh, that is absolutely a French word. Uh, Coffee Koala with a nine and nine pound. No, oh, no. Thank you so much, Coffee Koala. Howdy, fellas. Your streams have been great this week while I'm on the road. Is this game in a similar vibe to Alan Wake 2? Slow burner mystery, janky combat, and lots of jump scares. So, fun fact, this game was originally supposed to release the same week as Alan Wake 2 last year and then got delayed to here, <laughs> which is probably a good good call. I do um, that, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You must delay. What's it, wrong? Game's on fire. <laughs> game's on fire. Game's on fire. Other, other game looks too good. Take a bow from the wine cellar. Take a bow from the wine cellar if you want to try to start Great. steam. We would love to. We still need a, a bunch of pieces to turn off that steam. I guess the valve will turn off the steam. Dr. L. Moore um, Gray oh, is the central chief oh. doctor. Accounting and all administrative work is handled by me, Paul Waits. Malcolm, Ruth, Thompson, empty room, eh? Hey, Jeremy Hardwood. A bit. What's your favorite? My favorite name is number eight. John Cassandra Beauregard, I do declare. Did, yeah, that's actually, that's the lady that was seeking asylum. Did you just, like, grab that, that name out of nowhere? That's an important name, Marty. Yeah. I do declare. I do declare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no way to get into this thing. I, mm, um... I Ellen Wake 2, uh, yeah, I mean, this is like in the same vein of Alan Wake 2 in the same way that like a Jean-Claude Van Damme movie is in the same genre of movie as like John Wick. Like, they're both action movies, but just uh, they're, they're, they're done differently. And so far, this really hasn't had jump scares. The monsters have just been kind of nuisances so far. Yeah, because I think they're in my head. Hard to tell. Yeah. So, made a bush. Made a bush. Oh. Uh, Abdel Corral is with the dono. Thank you so much. Look, as far as this crazy person, uh, as far as the crazy person is not sleeping with his sister, everything is okay. See? It's fine. Yeah. And then Fungus Finder with the $2 dono. Thank you so much. New Orleans is an amalgam of French, Spanish, German, etc. You can't just say that because that's every every place is an amalgam of that. You can only choose three things to be an amalgam of. Vernon Pot. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Well. Burning, burning pot, melting pot. Sorry, burning, burning pot. <laughs> burning pot. Turn it off. All right. Uh, what's this here? Broken plates. Paul, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. Classic they body. have been sabotaged, and I think I know who did it. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes. Take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. I already did because I'm a very observant man. <laughs> uh, um, problem is I'm I'm sequence breaking in my brain, so I don't know where I'm supposed to be exactly. I do this too much. Yeah, and what we um, when we got the 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 Batiste key, it was like a it was like a keychain, right? And so I don't know yeah. what other keys were on that. That was a proper uh, ring of skeleton keys that he had on him. Yeah, um, but he said got to go. Got to get back to the skeleton keys. There you go. Uh, Miss Jackson's place. He also gave me a key to that room I was just in, and then I think there was one more key on. Oh, we just got the valve for the boiler room, which means we should be able to turn off the steam. I think we didn't get the valve, did we? It just told us. Oh no, he said the valve valve you can take from the the wine. The wine. All right. Fuck is going on? This bear is absolutely coming to life at some point. I gotta fight the bear. You know what this game could use? Bear grills. Oh. I could use a little. Oh, what do we got here? Is this a puzzle? Hello? Put your hand through it. Just going to gock at the crotch real quick. Wait, isn't that not the thing that attacked me outside? 
Oh, look at us. Well done, Alone in the Dark. <laughs> Manifesting our fears as fucking statues. Why is everything shattered? I do, <laughs> everything's broken all the time. What's happening? Sure. It's a lot of going in the rooms. This is the wrong Batiski, key. you'll help us. Oh, no, no. Batiski, you will help us here. Oh, oh. I do declare. Yeah, I'm sorry, detective. <laughs> Didn't mean to obstruct justice or anything. That's fine. You know, this guy's great. I'm kind of this is my own case of a missing person. I was wondering if you've seen Grace, girl about yay high. Can't say that I have. Why are you asking? Well, I'm looking for her. Is she in trouble? No, 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 no. Uh, she's just uh, hiding somewhere. But we can't have a rascal like that running around unchecked at a time like this, you understand? Well, I haven't seen her. Well, let me know if you find her. I'll be around. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for your man, Jeremy. You scratch my back, detective, and I'll scratch yours. I like this guy. I like this I like guy because he focuses on the important things in yeah. life, which is getting day drunk and back scratches. Back scratches. He's a dog, really. <laughs> He's dog just a man. dog. But I come through there. If I if, oh, try and open that door, will I budge it? Like bumping him again? No, he, okay, <laughs> he swapped me spots. I see. <laughs> ah, that dang chair. All right, then. Here we go. See, that's why if people ask me about voiceover in games, if I were to go and do them again, I want very one-dimensional characters where it's like, you're sleazy. You're just sleazy the whole way through. It's like, I can do that. Yeah. Whereas yeah, it, it, you yeah. can see how it's a little harder when you have, like, I'm trying to be sensible and confused and so many things at once. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's the dark man behind her. Was that Emily? Like, was that, is Emily the name of the other the other woman who you could have been? Uh, I think so. With the other playable character, yeah. I don't know. I don't know where she went. All right, going down to the boiler room. Hello. Who's room? Okay, so this is sort of the like the patients, the patient wing. Mm, mm yeah. Everyone's got their nice little studio apartments. Hello. Fountain nice fan, a nice fountain pen. We're just stealing things from people in a hospital, which seems. Oh, boxing gloves. Yeah. yeah. Wait, is the patients just like fucking hitting the speed bag? Boxing gloves, speed bag. What was this guy? Ricky Romano? Who are you? Yeah, yeah, Ray Romano. Ray Romano. <laughs> We're in Queens now. Ah, Raymond. That was Ray Romano's brother in the show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what we got yeah. here? Bullets. Bullets, a little bolito action again. It's one of those. Like if I had a bunch of bullets all over my house, I'd keep them in one place. Oh, look at those guys. Fucking... Same, yeah, they're just everywhere, like pigeon yeah. feed. Now the door, up against a, a locked door again. Or a chair up against the door, that's the one, okay. Let's go down to the basement, my little gallivant strut. We gotta go to the winery. We gotta go to that Catalina wine mixer. Down to the bottom, where I am a wine dinosaur. Let's go. Dinosaur. Excuse me, Mr. Bear. You should let me put my hat on that. That's, I love that uh -huh. when PIs, you can, you can tell that they're aloof when they put their hat on things that shouldn't go on. Oh, yeah, yeah. And mannequins and everything. Yeah, yeah anything. That. Just put the hat on this, put the hat on that. All right. What do you mean? I've been sprinting. I could just jump down there, but there's no reason to oh. just yet. Hello. Shoot the door out. Library key. That's what it was. Yeah. Miss Jackson's place. It was the office, and it was a library key. That's the three things he has. gave for us. Big here. three. Big three. Triple threat. Gonna... Hey. Lost plantations. Lost plantations. Oh, oh, why are the clues so long? You. Hold on. Take care of my favorite cat, tobacco. Yes. Seize control. Free the slaves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Shrocat says this is the last stream of the week. No, we should have. Uh, we just, there's plenty more streams. Uh, later this evening, we'll be starting Devil May Cry 4 at 7 p.m. Central. Uh, tomorrow at noon, Jack is going to be beginning his latest Elden Ring run, which is preparing for the DLC. Um, and uh, I, I, I think I, but there's there's Schr Schrodinger's uh, Better With Friends and newly released this weekend. There you go. Uh -huh. 
Duh. Nothing in here to steal. Oh, somebody's playing solitaire. Oh. The loneliest of card games. Fucking diet Bellatro. Oh. Sugar-free <laughs> vanilla Bellatro. Sugar -free, yeah. <laughs> A wedge what? door. What? Let's pull the wedge out. You just kick it. Or is it, oh, the wedge is from the other side. I must need a key. No. Just, we can't. If it's wedged, a key's not going to help. Yeah. I don't know. It, it acted like, oh, yes, yeah, select something from your inventory to unwedge it. Like, just poke oh, a wedge remover. Away. Yeah. Of course. Ah, what? What is happening? Oh. That was terrifying. I think we oh, just shifted the room. I'm going just Silent It's Hill? me. I'm going crazy. Oh, there's so much goo in this room. This, this place sucks. Yeah, this is what they were. Is it flooding or is it just slowly moving? I think it's just moving. It's all coming from the chimney. That's why you should have a sweep, like a proper sweep. That was good. That might happen. There we go. This is very uh, fear and loathing in Las Vegas. This is what Johnny Depp was talking about. <laughs> Golf shoes. <laughs> just muck all over the floor. Can't get any traction. Oh, there it is. Come on. You big lumbering beast of a man, you. Let's go. Bolt, bolt cutters. cutters. These are going to be coming handy. Yep. Now I'm cutting I various bolts. Drag my way over. Here I come. Oh my god. Do you think it's poo? Are you like shuffling <laughs> the poo? <laughs> <laughs> Just tons of poo? Oh, the, the tournay, the poo poo here. Bam. My hands weren't even attached to that. Incredible. It's like, whoa. The poo's gone. It's a metaphor. Quaaludes. <laughs> they had crazy drugs back then, and it was all medicinal. Yeah. Well, it's probably the like, fever. Yeah. Oh, we're, but look where we are. A little cough syrup. Old tree room. The Miyazaki. Nice. Down to the boiler room. Miyazaki's seeing this and like, we need to delay Erd Tree. They've done too well. <laughs> yeah. They've copied Miyazaki yeah, too well. Too many, too many Erd Trees. The big tree years, yeah. Da -da. Hey, oh. Back. Now, I mentioned that piece in the well. I wonder if now my character is able to reach for it, to find a way to reach the piece. How's about this hose and a bolt cutter? <laughs> we can't like stick the bolt cutter there, kind of like. Nip. There's no way I can't reach in there. Oh, oh, mummified cat. Let me... You should probably you should, you should leave that there. Not you essential. Take... No, I'm just gonna. You don't need to take that with souvenir. You. I remember when I was at the Le Bourdet. Yeah. What a time it was. See, I'm trying to imagine what it is the game is building up to for reaching into that, like a magnet or something. I don't know. Yeah, or like a hook. Oh, maybe it'll be something in here. Just a rake. <laughs> a little bolt cutting scene. There. Got it. But there was what? already a water hose. You needed more hose. Why do I need? You didn't have enough hose. You never have enough hose in life. Like, what? <gasps> sure. And then am I going to fill it up with water and then it's going to float up? Is that what you're getting? Oh, that would be great. How do you know that it's going to float, though? You grab it now that it... I think I'm just going to turn the faucet on. You have on, to follow honestly. it and turn it on. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yellow paint. <laughs> yellow, yellow. <laughs> Shit, it just disappeared into the tree. Oh, no. Wait a minute. It's over there. It's over on the other way. side. Oh, that's funny. And then it's like, hey, look, follow the trail. And then there's going to be a monster that's going to be right in my face. Oh, or no. Oh, what is that? Whoa. God, you turned so slow, my friend. <laughs> what was that? What, what were those eyes? Were those a cat? Was it's, that a shadow cat? It's a shadow cat, yeah. It's nothing there. It's a sticker. It's a sticker. <laughs> Games aren't real. It's just math. Don't worry. I filled it up, and now I got two pieces of broken plate. Oh, hell yeah. Sure. Why not? Which broken plate do we think this is for? Is this for the boiler room broken plate or the clock broken plate in the in the statue room? Oh, uh, how a weird texture to it. I'm going to imagine it's the boiler plate one. Oh, look. Put the ladder up. It's just like Firelink Shrine. Oh, my Boom. God. I bet fucking patches. At, so, at a certain point, we're going to look at something and patches is going to kick us right in the ass. Absolutely. Just never again. Love patches. Hey, oh, that was open when I got here. Fuck. Got to be monsters. Yep. Now, where is this boiler room? 
Uh, up, over, and right. Yeah, okay, up the, up the ladder. Mm. Gotta be monsters. The good old days when there was actual coke in the coke, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Library, boiler room, should be right around. No, that's Jesus' room. Lottie's room, servant stair. Down the stairs we go. As uh, Arthur, thank you so much for the dono. Great to see you. Watching alone in the dark during the day on a crowded bus. <laughs> Hooray. As God meant it for it to be yeah, watched on to, your phone, on a bus, in a well lit room. Just to be really safe, you know? Okay, and then it should be right here. Dunna, na, 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 na. Ba, na, na, na. What? He's playing. Did we just miss that before? No way. I think she's been hiding them. She's not very good at it. What? I do declare. I do declare. David Arbor needs glasses. There it is. Broken piece of plate. No way. It's not. Oh. It's not for here. It's for the clock. Wow. Oh, I guess so. Wait a minute. So wait, did the girl say where the one that one note that we weren't listening to? Does that say where the next one is? Nah, she was just making notice of like, hey, clock. Mm. Clock, broken plate. I mean, I'll go look at it again. Da -da, broken plate. Let's see. Uh, oh, I found the wrong note. Let me know this one. Mm -hmm. Peace. Uh, she piece just, looks like she... the one on display in Cassandra's room. You know that about that one, or is your eyesight? Did we we got the piece in Cassandra's room? Right? Yeah. Um. Well, so yeah, she's not very good at. It. She just chucked it into the little room with all the tools behind the boiler. I left it there. I don't want to embarrass her by picking it up while she was looking. Okay. Piece that's of... this room, right? Yeah. Surely. Right. But if it's behind the boiler, we can't get there yet because it's behind the boiler. Sure. Right. Chucked it into the yeah. little room with all the tools behind the boiler. This is the boiler room. The laundry room? Wait, we have a we haven't gone to a library yet, have we? Yeah, we went. There wasn't anything in there. I don't even remember any books. Behind the boiler. The laundry room? Okay, sure. Ooh, we get to go to oh, the it's not like literally behind the boiler. Maybe maybe. We get to go to the kitchen. Damn I do that. declare. <laughs> I guess we, if we get back to that clock, we can put a piece in. We only have one piece, or do we have two pieces? One piece. The one piece. We have the one piece. Oh, no. We, we have two-ish pieces. I'm not sure. Oh, cutscene. Oh, we're doing something right. Oh, we need uh, another person with a great Creole accent. Yeah. Oh, we have been here, that's right. A lot of meats. Look at all those keys I could be taking right now. Got a hamon. What's going on here? A bunch of crying babies? Her Jesus. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't... You can't threaten us with a knife. That seems excessive. Jesus. Sorry. That's excessive. I do declare. Did I just write her down for a citation? Let's go ahead and uh, check out the, what do you call it, the clock. Gotta oh. follow the rats. I bet the rats know where we're going. There should be a valve in the wine cellar, no? Oh, yeah, right? Is this not? Is this the wine cellar? Right, you'd put wine, yeah, wine here. Oh, this, yeah, this next room is definitely wine cellar. It's got those wine axes. No. It's ah, locked. son of a bitch. Well, <laughs> the plate goes into the clock, apparently, so let's let's go make our way back to the clock. A little retraversal action. Definitely some Funny, Metroidvania just, vibes here. Yeah, we're just getting our sense of place with this, with this excellent... Uh, <laughs> Excellent mansion. I'm just wondering whenever I can get the, like the first double jump. Time to double jump has been uh, rather slow. Oh so, my uh, god, can you imagine? David Harbour getting his morph ball, <laughs> rolling up into a little ball. <laughs> Through the vents, pulling a diehard. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Head out to California, you know, have some laughs. <laughs>, uh, what was it, it was at the top of the tippity top of the stairs. I 
think. Yeah. Whoa. What? I haven't been up here before. There's just nothing. There's oh, no, there's one something. more room. Who are you? Private, no entry. That means all the entry. No, it's lost. Son of a bitch. Uh, Sean Harriman says, has time to Vista been hitting yet? We haven't seen any Vistas. No, no Vistas. All these goddamn wedges. What's everyone wedging their doors for? You got doors, you got wedges. What can I say? Paranoid family. Da, da, da. I miss that music from the, from the beginning bit. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it went away once stuff got spooky, but I'm like, well, keep it. Like It, it just has so much room for it. Yeah. It, it beckons. Yeah, 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 I'm going, I'm going. Put the plate. The gem and the broken plate and everything. Yeah. Nope. Big and crusty. It's an immersive sim. There we go. Okay. Broken wait, plate wait, in a clock. Wait. That's where it goes. As it should. Bam. It's not even the same color. Oh, I need another piece. Uh, one small piece. I'm going to neck myself. Alrighty then. My objectives are investigate what Perosi knows. Who is Perosi? Repair the plates on the boiler and the astronomical clock. Who the heck is Perosi? I don't know who Perosi was. Usually the games like these have <laughs> they usually <laughs> have uh, what do you call it? Like a list of the people you've run across, but what uh, were there other rooms our key has been able to open that we haven't? Yet? Yeah, Perosi's room down the hall. Oh, there you go. Have we not been here? Do we know who. We have this. We went in this hallway. I thought we tried all the rooms. It all looks the same. Yeah, what? yeah, we went in this hall because this is where we said, oh, the, this is where all the patients lived. Yeah, it's, it's wedged. It's wedged. But then this one right here on the left, that's hers. Perosi. No key for you. Where do I get your key then? We need the Perosi key. We need a pierogi key. Delicious. Cool. Broken plate. Emily is here. That's just, just a. Uh, I wish I could inspect the drawing. drawing. Yeah. The patient files we've already seen. Cassandra, Grace, Malcolm. All right. Okay. She was. She broke in. She insisted she belonged here. Offered to pay for her stay. Okay. Just. Peculiar. She no longer claims to be the same person as Elizabeta Perosi. However, okay. Seems the whole colony disappeared when one night. Oh, interesting. Well, we find a key now. Hold on. Um, all right. That means locked door. That means bolted door, and that means blocked door. Explored and completed. Ah, okay. Ah, interesting. So let's just check out like Jeremy Hart Hartwood's room. At the very uh, so least, blue, we can do that. Blue Don't... means we've yeah. done everything, and red means there's still shit to do. Doesn't Resident Evil do that? Yeah, yeah, which is nice. Okay, so we'll check out Jeremy's. Make sure we get everything here. You crazy man, you. Did we not get everything from here? Bear sculpture. Or at least the map said we haven't. No this gold. is where we opened the door, and we were like. In the scary verse, she was in the scary verse. Yeah, that's the yeah the multiverse of madness. All right, it's saying not completed because I haven't opened up this. Oh, uh, because yet. we haven't done this sure. steamer trunk. So that doesn't count. And then we checked Jeremy. Is the gallery? What's the gallery got in it? Probably paintings. Well, painting action. Oh, that's the locked one. This way. Let's go hop. Ba -na 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 is the gallery sure oh this is this just whole the whole thing is the gallery that door gotcha. is locked. So that door is locked it beckons that i finished the clock is there a fancy puzzle to be solved here i don't think so what were the i feel like when we got that oh, that, oh geez sauce <laughs> that the angry uh the angry chef with the knife is gonna come <laughs> yeah. back good that, uh, that'll distract her and i can check out the kitchen <laughs> all right no Okay, uh, reception, clerk's office. We go back to the clerk's oh, office. Oh, yeah, we didn't go. Let's go to that office. See what's going on there. Oh, let's see. So it's forward and to the right. This reception right here? Yeah, and so I'll open this, and I think we go through here. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Just... yeah. We've been here, but I must have missed something. Different door. Oh, things. Oh, sorry. There's a safe in there, but I haven't figured out the thing to open it with yet. I 
Need a key, of course. Is that? No way. Room key. Oh, that's what that must be Nancy Pelosi's. <laughs> <laughs> Was that the end of a hallway? That seems like a room six. Yeah. All right. Uh, and then the safe, we haven't gotten. I haven't figured that out yet. Yeah, I need that. So we'll just take the key and we'll just head on over to Nancy Pierogi's. Have a it's look. Delicious. Here. All right. But another another purse just hanging out there. And then just yeah. check this door real quick. It's and maybe it's just like Japan. Purse. People aren't stealing things. Like, it's just a very safe country. Sure, sure. Ooh. Up we go, I think. Yes. Yeah, yeah, up and then to up, the left. And then the, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then all the way down the That's hallway. That's the fun part of a Metroidvania. Is like, oh, I know the map now. I'm acquainted. Yeah, it originally went from I will never learn any of this yeah. to, all right, I got I got a little bit. I know it's what's like, going on. You know, I could butler this place if it came yeah. down to it. <laughs> all right. Someone's got to fix these rugs, though. These rugs are all fucking mm -hmm. Look wrinkled. thin, too. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a great room. Bad Damn. feeling. Who's there? Oh, it's got one of those fancy beds. <laughs> Just in the center of the room. You know you've made it if your bed's not even touching a wall. <laughs> you are unhinged. I did it. Mm -hmm. uh, cross the threshold to my intended destination without a focusing device. All right, so my boy here knows how to teleport or something or other. Is that? Do you think that is a sign of how much money you have? There's three levels of money. There's your bed is in a corner touching two walls. Your bed is only against one wall because you have enough room in your room. And then your bed is touching no walls, and that means you got hella money. You got hella money here. It's like, I, I yeah. don't need a corner in life. Yeah. I don't need any kind of fortitude. <laughs> I figured it's more so to do with humidity. Cause it's up, if it's up against the wall, it'll trap humidity. So you kind of just want it out in the open. You may need to remember how to get them out. That's not what I thought Perosi would sound like. No. Oh, okay. Ah, fuck is all this? Score. Oh, these are the these are the Capricorns and whatnot. One 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 zero. What's binary? Ripley, don't feel bad. Your bed touches two walls. Every bed I've ever slept in touches two walls. Jefferson's touches two walls, except it's at the top and the bottom. He like put it in a nook. That's insane. Yeah. It's <laughs> got... get over you go. Roll yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's exactly. <laughs> Imagine if you have guests. Like, all right, everyone into the next room. Wait, over. <laughs> Jefferson is a Thomas Jefferson. Yeah, that Jefferson. Yeah, he he <laughs> made his bed so that it has exactly one inch above and below him. As above, so below. Classic Tommy J. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we found a thing with a thing. Yeah. You know, the... It's got the let's see the the horoscope things that it needed. It says one 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 zero. I feel like that's binary. Uh, it might be binary. Uh, yeah. Sagittarius, Scorpio. So here's the lock. Aquarius, Sagittarius. I'm so bad with horoscopes. I don't know what they yeah, look like off, my, off the top of the head. All right. You know what? Do I have a pen? Ah, there we go. I feel like it's. Like I like the one that is like 69. Pardon? No. Oh. <laughs> like the cancer one yeah all right we got aqua little waves of course i knew that uh, sad to tell uh, john blue said what kind of a bed did taft have taft actually was the first president to ever use a water bed <laughs> <laughs> got stuck scorpio is the funny looking m whatever okay i don't have to sh rifle back and forth uh, Deeb says my bed has touched two walls for most of my life. My current place is the first time it's only touched one. Congrats, Deebs, you're moving on up in the world. Good on you. You've evolved. You're a Charmander of beds. No, Charmeleon of Charmeleon. beds. Charmeleon. I forgot what the second one was called. Hey, none of these are none of these are the ones shown here. So I guess I didn't get enough. Okay, so what what are we? So we got this thing, and then what are we trying to? What like what number? What are we trying to enter? That's the. the like, what is the code? Okay, um, so. What, what this is here, obviously, it's, it's showing some horoscopes. Yeah, with, yeah, And then we have to find three of them so that we can um, open that up. Problem is, or I guess the good thing is, I have a clue that shows me a bit of horoscopes here. And then it's got blue numbers, little gray blue numbers on the outside that says 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. On the Aquarius, Sagittarius, and Scorpio one. But neither of those three are part of the lock. Well, let's look. Maybe there's more clues in the room. Yeah. I feel like we haven't found out, like, Fair. maybe something will be like, 
My three favorite months are August, <laughs> November, and March. Oh, shoot. That might be it. Or it's just like, my birthday, and then three events. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Or three people's birthday. Oh, what are these? Paintings. Hey, oh. James McMahon from the McMahon family. My God, James McMahon. My God. Franklin Masig. Who are you people? Gumfrey. Oh, he doesn't even have a tree. Whoa, go back. Gumfrey Bogart. It is so, watching these things flip is so weird. It's without hands or anything, right? So it's just like, yeah, some don't have trees. I wonder if it's supposed to or not. Nora Keith. Are you supposed to like create a... Uh, what? I thought it was going to be like a single flowing line. Someone's oh. playing the maracas. Yeah, what was that? Oh, what was that? There's a family tree behind you. Yeah, a real tree. On the wall. Hello. Okay. Who are you people? Oh, it's Elizabeth Perosi. Delicious. Why would I need that? 862-394-175? She's seven. I feel like we have to do something with the... Like, go back to the... Okay, so go back. Okay, so look at these three people's names. Ah, sure. Maybe those three names, match them with these, and then we'll get the... So what are these names? We got Willie Marges, Franklin Masig. Oh, I can't even move them the right. anymore. They got locked in. Yeah, so I think you you solved it. So we want to see what ah, okay. what these three people's... Mm, mm -hmm. We want to get these three people's uh, Zodiac signs. Gotcha. William, Franklin, and Nora. My favorite president. <laughs> so yeah, William is two, uh, two o'clock. Franklin is... Franklin's nine. Middle o'clock. Middle. Two nine. And Nora is four. So two nine four. Two nine four. Let's see what that does for us. Two, nine, and four. So then do we have to open our... Do you think that's thing? the safe? No. So open up our... Get our note with the Zodiac things again. Hmm. All right. And then... We ah, know they're going in order. So two the, would be H. Would be the nine passage. would be double line with a hump. And four <laughs> would be a circle with two lines. Down so H Taurus, okay, that's mine. H, okay, nice. You're calling them by their names. I'm calling them by their weird shapes. Well done, Marty. So H, oh look, we already got H got for the, the first H, one. H, and then we got the little Libra, I think. Line, get the line with a hump. The, yeah. Boom. Oh it. my God. You. What do we think's in here? A gun. <laughs> I wish. Oh, More play. play. Even I, better than a gun. I could finally eat. Even better. Thank you, Miss Pelosi. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Miss Speaker of the House. Uh, Urban M with 25 Zwoti, thank you so much. I got no wall touch bed. I got a no wall touch bed pretty early in life because I slept on a reclining armchair for a few years. There you go. Me too. <laughs> that's yeah. that's how, when you've transcended. Yeah. That's that's Nirvana. Uh, and Tyrell asked, what about uh, those beds that pull out from the wall? What are those bed calls? Murphy beds? I think so. That's just a cheat code bed. Oh, those big cockroaches. Oh, the goobers. Everything's happening. There's a lot of texture in this game. Yeah. Ooh. These guys. What was this? All is this right. a koi pond? Oh, they damage you. Listen oh, here. No. Now. Let's get the Listen fuck out of here. this room. We don't want to be here again. Uh, what? <laughs> it's in my head. It's fine. It's fine. It's in my head. All right. I'm going to play. Oh. Wait, what do you mean you think you've seen this somewhere? I'm not seeing anything. Uh. Can I rotate them? Oh, I can. Okay. Oh, gotcha. So that goes you there. See what? And then he sure. Said, what? What has he seen before? I don't get it. That looks reasonable. That looks there. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. Get the end slices bit. You know, the best part of the. Oh, bread. is this like one of the oh. statues? Boom, and then the corner pieces real quick. Oh, and that this will go top right corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That juice got to be it. I think so. Something in the commonplace book about. Oh, go back, hop. Now I gotta make these weird corner bits line up properly. Oh, these. Yeah, I think you just gotta worry about the three other corners. 
Yeah, there's uh, a ah, little bit of this one sticking out right there. Nice. That clock is, I feel like I'm being timed. It's, it's in <laughs> my head, though. It's all in my head. And then this one goes over here. Boom. What does that mean? It's a don't shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like uh, we got a three. We got a four. We got a six. Oh, no. Do we have to go back to the talisman? I think so. Yeah. It's a oh, no. It's a cocoon. I never learned how to do that puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> that was confusing to me. Uh, oh, oh, cool. We just do it here. We just do it here. Nice. Oh, not this again. I don't under... I still... I didn't uh, understand this. Sorry, it's all right. Sorry. You just got to do the... There's an arrow at the bottom, and then you just oh. got to make the big one, the three, matches that arrow, but then that one has an arrow over there, and that's where the four is going to go, right there, and then this arrow on the inside is going to be the six. I messed up. I, 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 I was I so confident. Do not <laughs> I don't know how it works. I deeply Three, do not I do not understand four, what this puzzle wants from us. I, it's pointing at exactly what it wants. How is that not it? Three down at the bottom. Three, four, and then six. I must have just brute forced it the first time. What? Well, it's is it three on the... the inside, and then the outside is the six. Let's try that one. So this is a three, the six, four. Three. And then spin the middle one. Okay, yeah, so you work your way inside out. I still deeply <laughs> do not understand how these puzzles work. Oh, it's showing us the room. Hey, we, this is in the hallway. We know this. There's a rug. What room was that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you come from? That was in this hallway to the right. The hallway we just came uh, from. Way too jumpy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dear God. And uh, bam. Maybe it's not scary. Yeah, it's, so there was a rug right here. What's it want from me? Oh, I don't know. It just showed us the rug. Oh, can you maybe... Uh, is, is is his chest unlocked? Remember, he had a chest in his room. That's right. That was locked. Maybe it's unlocked a now. A little more alcohol real quick. Top it off. All right. Cheers. Nope, we were wrong. Uh, SVS Guru with a five euro dono. Thank you so much, SVS Guru. If Satan, the world's best corporate lawyer and a fey creature, drafted a three way contract, who would successfully screw over the other two? There was already a movie about this, and it was called The Devil's Advocate, starring Keanu Reeves and Al Pacino. Did it, I didn't. Wait, who's fey? I don't know. Pacino was the a devil. fey, a fey creature. I think a fey is like in like DNA yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was like the that. who was the fey creature? Oh, in uh, in Devil's Advocate. Devil's Advocate. Yeah. I don't know. Charlie Theron, maybe. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I, don't, I haven't seen the movie in a long time. Was Charlie Theron even in that movie? I don't think so. <laughs> I think Charlie Theron. I think she was the woman in Devil's Advocate. Was she? She was the Devil's Avocado. Uh, I remember Keanu. That's that's it. All right. I remember Al Pacino. Look. Don't taste, taste, but no. He said, "Look, but don't touch. Touch, but don't taste. Right. Taste, but don't swallow." I always think about that every time. Every time I do what? I have no idea. Every time I shower. <laughs> every time I every, shower. Every time I'm brushing my teeth. <laughs> so taste, but don't swallow, Marty. All right. <laughs> All right. He wants me the boilerplate, but it did. It did direct me to this. Maybe it's the next room. Maybe like the next room? What's the, yeah, what's this room? Oh, a cutscene. Oh. Who knew? We just had to go one step further that a cutscene would do something. Well, a little yellow paint would be nice. Wait, or did the game crash? Come on, it man. Just night. What do we do? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did it just look like that when we opened? Oh, 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 this is going to be spooky. I don't want it. I've forgiven everything, game. That was a spooky door opening. God, where are we? My childhood. Oh, man, they got some outside in their inside. Bruh, come on now. Uh -huh. I made it. I entered another one of Jeremy's men. I'm in Jeremy's head. Jeez, jeez, jeez. 
Do you think so? Al Pacino gave out the Best Picture award at the Oscars the other week. Do you think it was more of a treat for him to give out Best Picture at the Oscars or Best Performance at the uh, at the Keeleys the other year? Which oh. one do you think he enjoyed more? Uh, I don't know. We just you think Al Pacino like, would like this game? This game, maybe. I was just wondering if he would prefer like. Uh, Sitting next to or standing next to Christopher Judge's speech, or standing in front of the Academy, <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, because I think that's the deciding factor. If he enjoyed what happened with him and Christopher Judge, it probably was the best time of his life. Yeah, if not, agree, he's yeah. like, I'm never going back. Yeah. What you got here? All right, I'm looking for a Jeremy. I do declare, Jeremy. Oil rig report. May 1923. All, right. All okay. This fucking Very there will be blood. Love it. Oil pump must be soaked. I drink Tampering. your milkshake. <laughs> Paul Dano. Good crap. What an actor. What an actor. Oh, from the wrong side. All right. Ah, God. It feels like I'm driving a Mack truck through a cabin. <laughs> Honestly, though. Hoo wee. Highlighting a mech, but your mech is Dave Harper. <laughs> That's a meat mech. <laughs> Not another key to your guys. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> this is just a, you know, it's a key hunt. It's, it's times like this when I go back and I, I wonder if I was too harsh on another game that did something similar. In this instance, it is it's the Sherlock game where I was like, it's, you mm. know, it's fine, but this makes that one sparkle. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting, the, uh, um, uh oh, there's gonna be big men coming up. Who could possibly? Uh, I like that, um, it seems like it's using the house as the hub, and then each chapter will have you silent hilling into a different location as part of like a small sort of new open zone so we had the bourbon street for the first one now we have this farm or whatever this is for the second one yeah is this how silent hill plays out oh, oh, oh. ah um no i mostly meant silent hilling as in like silent hill has you uh like the town is normal and safe and then all of a sudden uh. it'll just like a hell filter will be put on it and everything will get dangerous oh it's about to get dangerous whenever they give you uh -oh. health packs and bullets it's about to get dangerous and clues that you could throw things to. Yeah. Oh, are those porno mags? Uh, cool. In Metal Gear, you could take your porno mags and distract guards. It'd be cool I? if you could. Oh, a jetty key. For a jetty. That's a pier, I believe. Oh, Le jetty. Le jetty. Uh, okay. A lot of owls. A lot of camera movement. Toad Wizard says he's named David Harbor because he steers like a tugboat. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though. His parents do. I knew it. See, they can't help themselves. If they go to the bayou, they got to have gators. Yeah. Love a gator. Bridge operator. What do you want? Can I just shoot it? Not, a, jet, not a jetty key. Yeah. That's not what they want. So, all right. So it wasn't none of that. Now it wants me to. So jetty's going to be like a, a like a boathouse or a dock. No way you can't climb this. Okay. It seems dangerous. <laughs> Tetanus. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere. Let's see. Where is Le Jetty? I'm floating. Oh no, Ma. Oh no, Ma. What's happened? Mama. Oh, Mama. I'm stuck in the geometry. No way. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> we got out. <laughs> it's a big meaty man. Stuck on everything. Big meaty man slapping me. Is that a jetty? I'm on jetty watch. Yeah, what is worry. a jetty? I think it's like a dock or a pier. It's like a little tiny pier, yeah? Yeah, like a little, like a little guy. Okay. This could be a jetty. This is no. Maybe this is like the jetty, the jetty building, the pre jetty, pre jetty here. Yeah. No. Are we isekaying? Is that what's oh, happening? That's the key. But this, maybe this. Ooh, what's this? Bullets. Bullets. Oh, oh we were here. Okay. Oh, but this door, oh, this yes, door on the left. This could be the jetty door. Boom. Return of the jetty. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Get it. <laughs> All right. Huh? Ah. Huh? Oh. So, oh. All right. Interesting. This is just giving me this is giving me Red Dead vibes. Running through the, running through the fucking gumbo swamp, then getting eaten by a croc. Oh, giving me pipe. Man, I'm gonna have to swing at people. Somebody's gonna jump up behind me. Yup, yup, yup. Back you up into a corner, and then you gotta fight your way out, drink your way out. Even look at that, bridge lever. 
Oh, now we go back to the bridge. No, the there's gonna be there's gonna be spooky guys in the middle area, right? There's no way we're gonna cross that middle area without another spookster. Yeah, not without getting hit. And they yeah. don't want you to go for the stealth option. This is Gator Country. Run. Da, 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 da. Where's it gonna go? There it is. Ah! Thought I didn't see you. Oh my oh, god! Oh, oh, tremors. Okay, I wasn't ready. Yee! What? David, move. Wait, he's not going to come on the porch. Though. No, he's, he's afraid not, of the porch. He's no. afraid of porch. He's afraid of jetties. If there's one thing I know about those monsters, they're afraid of jetties. Afraid of Libra. Is he, he's not behind us, is he? I don't no. think so. The violin yeah. insists that he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I'll give you that. A little variety in its uh, spookies, sure. Yeah, that's good. I was. I'm really... glad. If it was just gonna be another mud man, I was gonna. Like, oh, we don't need another. Yeah, mud man. like there's no way one shows up here, right? Yeah, a lot of cockroaches. I insist. What we got here? What you got? Little booze. Little booze. Little, little pipe. Ooch train. Mm -hmm. Sip. Top her off. Oh, what's this? Those are the stairs. I wouldn't go up. Okay. <laughs> A little dolly action. Hey yo, SOS. Cutscene. Ah! Again? That was like a. That was like a large bat. Huh. Oh, Boss Jesus! No way. Oh, I see. Yeah, there's that contextual brick over there. See that? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, so like we need to like. I think I just gotta crouch. My havoc over there, so we can like run across. Yeah, there it is. Um, what do you think our goal is, bro? <laughs> That's the opposite of what <laughs> I want. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, go, 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 go. It's fine. He's, He's fine. gonna He's eat fine. me. Yeah. Okay. What could possibly go wrong? Have we been in this room yet? I oh, know. Could we not go in? I don't oh, think no. we've been here. What we got? Getting a lot of hooch Drank. though, you know. Some drink. A lot of hooch. Nice little Chevelle. Shovel. Oh, okay. Dig him up. Dig him up, blast. Oh, we were. I didn't realize we were replacing our weapon every time. Like, is yeah. a shovel better? I'm assuming than a pipe. It's probably bigger. not. Probably just all like. See, just works the same way. Five yeah. hits or something. Yeah, swings them all with yeah. not too much grace. Yeah, it's just uh, it's it's there, you know. Yeah, it's there. Bullets, nice. It's just interesting how the game works tension. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Oh, we got Oh, not this again. Different oh, shovel. So just... Plus one shovel. Extra shovel? Oh, am I supposed oh, to? Oh, do we have to go to where that light is? We have to, like, bust that Supposedly, gate yep. by that light? Bah. He didn't like it. Oh, well, is there... things is are there two? pointless. What? What? Like, it feels like we have to... I think I just this, like where the light is on the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I step on something, he'll go. Oh. oh, there's two of them. Did we just have to fight or them? Just one of them. I'm supposed to use those things to distract them. And okay, all right, whatever. I don't think the game ever taught me how to crouch. Oh, there it is. Da -da -na -na -na. Da -da. Oh, there's two. There's two. There's two. No. What happened to my shovel? Oh. Where's my shovel at? <laughs> oh, you know what? Just go. Just go. Book it. They don't do that much damage. I'm on easy mode. Is, is we got enough hooch. Go. Right bumper to attack the attack barricade. Attack the barricade. Attack the barricade. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sure. Also feels like it was a pretty low barricade. We could have just like. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. he's Oh, he's learned how to crawl. He has. Amazing good follow us. us. Oh, it's got a big arrow on the other side. It's got to be a good. So what was that noise? I don't know. What? Whoa! Oh. What? Who is that? How did he turn on fire? I don't know. What? Towards us, what man? It's getting absolutely shoveled. <gasps> oh, we are on Not fire. On fire. This oh. is worse. Went from bad to worse. The curse has passed on to us. Okay, he's dead. That's good. I guess a lot, a, lot of, a lot of bedpans. A lot of pee pee in the bedpans. <laughs> this music's very dramatic. 
What was the point of this room? What about that locker? Was there anything in the locker behind you? The locker, this, oh yeah, okay. It's gotta be something good there. Bullets, there you go. All right, the music needs to fucking relax. <laughs> like, oh, the, the, yeah. the conductor's jumpy himself. <laughs> He's <laughs> oh. <laughs> earning every cent. <laughs> And I came from there. There's stuff over here. Imagine he's gonna come over here. Oh, I don't there know, I don't know if they is. live. Oh, they live in the, they live in this zone. Seems to be. <laughs> God, bunk beds. Not even sure. I saw them bunk beds as a, as a kid, a top bunk. I'm shocked I never fell off my bunk bed. Right. I'm surprised. One I even had, fell I had a top bunk. Me. I had a top bunk my in the dorms my freshman year of college. Um, I'm definitely surprised I didn't fall off that one. Coming back, coming back to the dorms, a little liquored up. Never rolled off. Never hurt myself. Oh, oh! <laughs> you know it's a triple A game. There you go. Some quad A behavior right here. Yeah. Where are we? I'm, we might have been awarding it too many A's. I think this is this is a nice, healthy double A game. Yeah, solid say. A. Hello. <laughs> If you don't, what do we? Eat? That's like a like, tumble, a pregnant tumbleweed. Like if he's not bugging me, I shouldn't. But I know if I turn my back to it, he's gonna hit me. No, listen, we need to learn how to coexist. Sure, sure. What is that music? Carnival music? What I tell you, Marty? Ah, he stood up. <laughs> no way. Oh my God, your shovel broke. There you go. Did you right. just go become so. first person. <laughs> <laughs> Any third person game if you if you get close enough to a wall it becomes first person. It's a night. Did you that is yeah, that's that's actually a good point. Uh did you see they're adding a first person mode to Fortnite? What? Yeah. I don't know how that's that's wacky. Quad's know. dropping. It like when they showed it, it looked more like Overwatch. Huh. It was very it was it made me uncomfortable. That's insane. I don't know. I don't know if that'll like Easy make... why now? I don't know, you gotta you gotta change things up. When you're in a relationship for that long, you gotta Gotta spice things up. Like if one thing, they're not shy about it because they're, they're like, we have the player base for it. We can do whatever we want. Yeah. You know, they've got survival crafting. They've got a rock band uh, game mode now. Zero yeah. building. They're not afraid. And the Lego Fortnite yeah. thing. Oh, here he comes. Uh oh, oh, you gotta get to the oil, Derek. Oh, you. It's just amazing. Oil, Eli. Drainage, Eli. Drainage dry. You. Boy. Oh, don't, don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Oh, oh. oh, are they blind? Oh, no, they're not blind. Oh, George Lucas, I don't think the first was mode has been uh, added yet. I believe it was uh, introduced at GDC. Oh! GDC. Fortnite so first many. person mode. Eh, you know what? Uh, yeah, it's, not, it's coming later this year. This is so bad. <laughs> oh, where'd you come from? Oh, to the ladder. From? To the ladder. Oh, we're fine. We're gonna get it. Get it. All oh, we need to do like is get this. into the oil. Oh no! What's what? happening to me? What? What now? What did you just pull? I don't know. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be Quite fine. No one can hurt us when we're climbing. And then it's all gonna put me right back to normal, right? No. What's happening? It's shaking. Everything's on fire. Everything's on fire. Everything's on fire. Is this where we're gonna wake up, or is this just where we're gonna die? Oh, do we have to get across this yeah, thing? I think so. Oh, lock on. There you go. Oh, is it gonna do that? Like, oh, you're, uh, uh, you're too far, you have bud. Oh, using your controller like a six axis. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, he's big. It's again. It's like <laughs> all the grace of a Tonka truck. <laughs> the more we play, the more I go. It had to have been him. Yeah, like it we're had guilty. to be David Arnold. Like it had to be him. He's the one oh, that's like committed this game, all these atrocities. You, we, we, yeah, David Harbor, the man, not even the character. The man himself. Yeah, <laughs> he's a horror crux of a game. Emmy, Emmy nominee, David Harbor. Oh, I love, I love a good rope slide down. There you go. If I could this just be great. get there. <laughs> no way. Tough cloth. You got to put tough cloth on a wire. <laughs> <laughs> just immediately falls. The whole thing breaks. <laughs> Dies in the fire. Whoa, one-handed! Yeah. That was extremely smooth. Huh. Oh, that fire is real. Oh my god, okay. Awkward. Well, now we keep on going. See, there's no stamina bar. 
And there's no game you can't beat by just booking it. Exactly. That's a log. Okay. I'm curious how different the stuff would be if you were playing as Jodie Comer. Yeah, I don't know. Going like, obviously, her... her, her oh, combo. Oh, oh, my God! Yeah, oh my god, that that's a full-on bobbity. Just turn it, just run. We don't want to, I don't want to deal with, just, just get away. The, can he see? Oh, he can only hear you. Just fucking get out of here. That's that cre- that was this one- that's a Swedish-looking monster. That is a, absolutely a Swedish monster. I forgot what it was I watched, where they were like, guy- they were out hiking, and a guy Oh yeah, the Netflix movie. Yeah. yeah, 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 and they didn't show the monster except at the very end, and I'm like, that looks a lot like called the, you. the Ritual, I think it was That called? might be it. 2017, yeah, I remember that monster at the end. Yeah. Distinct memories of that monster. Okay, okay. The game's been sweeted. <laughs> oh, no. We got Colorado games, we got Arizona games, now we got Swedish games. Uh -huh. In the hole? Yeah, like, I'm curious if, like, her, the other characters, like, uh, uh, premonitions and shit would be different. I hope she's I having a normal so. I don't day. think they made, her, her stuff is just completely normal. Yeah, She's yeah, just yeah. having tea and kind of, like, gossiping with the, yeah, with it, the it, lady. The if anything, it's, like, just, like, a romance <laughs> sim <laughs> or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She gets to do all the talking. Meanwhile, he's having the worst day of his life. Meanwhile, he went to the fucking Dagobah tree where he has to confront evil. <laughs> oh, no. It's Yoda. <laughs> Don't come any closer. I'm on. Voodoo. Get that thing out of my face. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm just a detective trying to find something called Tearaway. Did they have flashlights back then? Like that? I don't. Like a hundred years ago? I don't know. I'm working for his so. niece. She wants to make sure he's all right. He might be unharmed, but far from all right. He's a curse upon DeSeto. DeSeto. Oh, here we go again. What? What? Oh, no. Boss fight. Oh. Is she gonna get eaten? So, oh. Look at us, hey, we're a goddamn hero. God dang it. Oh no, is she she's probably gonna die though. Oh, Christ. That's not good. I guess. I don't know. This is like that Anthony Mackie movie, Synchronicity. Oh my god. Just in and out. Don't talk to that. Don't talk to it about uh with uh Casey. Casey doesn't want to talk about uh Anthony Mackie. Uh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Shotgun, new gun. Okay. Well, and I'm back in the mansion. Yeah, but now there's a shotgun in front of shotgun. us. Shotgun? Metroidvania? Aw. Let's break it. Jelbo. Just said, ooh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> in case of emergencies, <laughs> I think this one what? counts. What's the point of this pipe? <laughs> it's for any monsters that come through. <laughs> Alrighty, where are we? Lord alive. Uh, George Lucas says, not gonna lie, this game has my intrigue. Yeah, this game is, uh, it is extremely janky, and I don't know if it's good, but I feel like it has its charms. The drawing room. I do declare. <laughs> Use the pipe. The fucking wedge! Why well, I can't? It's gonna be some kind of de wedger. It's gotta be. Oh no! Like it's it. gonna be. Uh, that's gonna be like unlocking a door from the opposite side, right? It's like you'll this. get to that room from the opposite side, remove the wedge, and then the thing will. No. Oh, pallet! No. It's this. I was mansplaining you it's how it's gonna work while you solved how it's gonna work. But <laughs> the power of Marty, the everything I've gone through just to get Bob Ross's little... paint scraper. <laughs> Which you could have, honestly, any other item in this house could have just used been the same thing. Wow. Like, there were so many things that could have functionally done that. Like, look at the, our titanium white. Now we have to remember where all the wedges were. Yeah. And let me tell you, Frost, I don't remember where any of them I think the map has a few of them. I hope. It's big wedges. Uh, yeah, wedge doors. Ah, little looky loo, eh? Oh, I'm gonna have to, what? Okay. It's gonna have Let's to. Let's go. Put something in the way there. A little checkers puzzle. The bottom uh, ah. instructions. 
to double the magnification of your telescope. Need a fancy lens. This is Barlow lens to your instrument. Then operate the, the Barlow lens. Nice little Siggy. Uh, May May Gelt says, just finished watching yesterday's Firelink podcast. My eyes were so blurry from a cold that Marty looked like he was wearing a muscle shirt and had shoulder tattoos. I was wearing that like <laughs> Sort of that like Native American cardigan I have. I like the idea that you were watching and thinking, man, that dude's real buff and has got tons of tribal tats. Yeah. Rough days for Marty Sleep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's see if I get the Barlow lens and come back through. I don't mind All these right. kinds of games. These games are, are funny to me for the um the exterior stuff, meaning I've got, oh, a gun. Oh, how did this open? I don't know, but I'm not questioning. <laughs> there we go. Hell yeah. No, come, come on, give me the, oh, no, have a sip. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to change weapons. I need a drink before I change weapons. Have a, have a drink there. There we go. Da, da. Uh, sorry, you were saying uh, the oh, external sorry. stuff? The external stuff, like, uh, if a game makes me pull out a little paper and pencil, and, you know, I'm a detective and I'm mm. supposed to keep track of that stuff, it's like, all right, you know what? Yeah. I'm into it. That's like, uh, uh, it feels like genuine role playing. What the hell now? What? Why is it smoky? That's not good. Oh my. Library is closed for some reason. We can go out the uh, small parlor. Oh god! Oh, well, where are we? That's oh, no! why they gave it a shotgun. I knew it was going to be true. Ah! Was me pipe? It was too good to be true. Okay, I feel like they could do their transitions a bit smoother. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. Like, if done smoothly, it could be really cool. But instead, it's like here's we're just gonna cut the black for a little bit, and we're gonna come yeah. back, or like yeah. the camera's gonna wonk out, and then. Oh. Pickaxe. Again, I still don't know if there's a high work. There needs to be like a little, like a Suica wheel of like of, <laughs> of items. Like if you combine two shovels, they become yeah, a pickaxe. There you go. See, uh, we solved that in modern day with the uh, the loot coloring. You know. So, yeah, that's the problem. This, All these things are just white and red. Yeah, is this green? Is this what? Oh, more of these rock things. Yeah. All right. What was there? It's the house again. Oh, we just back what? to the house. Dark. See? Ah! It's a color filter. <laughs> oh, God. Like, so now, what I, guess we what have I mean is, your... like, there's got to be a way to do it smooth so that I don't. And every time it happens, I go, Did the game break? What ha What's happened? Like, something happened yeah. to the game? <laughs> right. Does my power go out? Okay. Uh, we're out of the drawing room. So, uh, deal the with the boiler. Where was the last wedged spot? I don't remember it. I don't. I mean, how, does it say what these locked doors? So it has all the locked doors. Does it say how they're locked? Like whether no. they're key locked or wedge locked? No, it doesn't. I think. I guess just go to all the wedges or go to all the go to locked the, doors. Go to the locks, Piazza, down the stair hall. There's one. Okay. Across the way. It's very. Oh, I think empty the. Here. I think one of the. Don't you move. I want that bear to move so bad. Don't you move. If this game ends without the bear moving, what have they, what have they even done? Sitting room key? Where's the sitting room? Sitting room and a cellar key, yeah. Hmm. Oh, the sitting room was upstairs in uh, the opposite uh, in the statue room. Okay. I think the statue room had the hallway with all the bedrooms, and then it had the sitting room. I don't trust Which is, I think it's just upstairs here. You don't trust this bear. Yeah, feel, imagine shooting it should be a him. different bear. Every time you come back, it should just be a different bear. <laughs> like a polar bear, big old Kodiak. I was thinking, like, shoot him and the game ends right there. Sitting room key. Okay. Who are you people? This doesn't look like a sitting room at hey, all. It's just a big old globe. It's Jay's Use globe. Your palette. I feel like your palette knife should be able to fix everything. And just kind of... <laughs> <laughs> Stab it until it opens. The master key. Uh, creepy doll. Alright. Uh oh. I don't know, man. 
Don't you worry, Grace. Go play your game, bleat and bellow with the others. I won't be jealous. There will be more masquerades. A mask. We got a finer mask, maybe. Oh, easy now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so this is the scariest room to me because I find that children's stuff in a scary setting just terrifying. Same reason why uh, you can always tell a bad guy is more of a bad guy when they drink milk. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. I think there's a whole YouTube video on that of like yeah. the evil behind milk. Yeah, it's, it's because you you tend to associate it with the innocence of of children and babies. So when a villain's doing it, it's like, oh, yeah, pervert. Cutscene. Oh. We could end on this cutscene. Beautiful. His composure's all over the place. All right. He's going to offer the kid a cigarette? <laughs> what do you got there? You drawing something? Nothing special. I'm just bored. Do I know you from somewhere? I remember you, Mr. Condy. From where? Don't touch that. Cassandra wouldn't like it. She wouldn't like it at all. Do you know where she is? I'd rather not talk about it. It makes me upset. Besides, she'll be back after the Feast of St. John. You think? Yep. It's all on the page, Mr. Conby. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. All right. <laughs> Same. I'm gonna go now, if that's okay. I don't like to stay too long in the same place. Mr. McCarthy might find me. Hey. Is he mean to you? Not everyone needs to be saved, Mr. Conby. You should know that by now. It's all in my head. He's the bad guy. <laughs> oh, no. It's me. This typewriter, wife left me. Anyways, that's the end <laughs> of Alone I in the Dark. I hate literature. <laughs> okay, I'm not here to read. <laughs> this is a lovely time playing the um, newest game by, who made this? Uh, the Alone in the Dark goes. Uh, I actually, I have no idea. This is published by THQ Nordic, I oh. believe. Oh, I was like, um, all right. It's got a not bit sure who it, was, who it was developed by. It's yeah. got a bit of that vibe. I don't know. I had a, I had a, I had a time... I mean, uh, a time. It was fun. It was a fun stream. Good aesthetic. <laughs> not many games that let you get away with saying "I do declare." Oh, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. We're not in that sort of era and location. Often, yeah, so. it's Cajun like. What we got going on, Marty? Uh, yeah. So uh, we mentioned some of the streams earlier. Uh, later this evening. Well, later this evening at six p.m. Central. Uh, Jesse is going to be joining uh, the Slugfest Games crew on their uh, on their uh, Twitch channel to um to to play some some uh uh red dragon in with them i think they're gonna chat about the the kickstarter he's gonna be playing with those folks so check that over there 6 p.m uh, on the slugfest twitch channel and then 7 p.m normal time tonight casey and i will be back with uh devil may cry we'll be starting Devil May cry 4 uh tomorrow at noon jack will be back streaming elden ring uh tune in for that and then yeah we should have some weekend streams Fantastico, fantastico. Mm -hmm. And uh, as far as videos go, go watch the uh, cold take on, what was it, Helldivers. There you go. Lovely sensation. Heck yeah. Sweeping the nation. This was absolutely me, this was Marty. We were together in well-lit rooms. Yeah. This was Alone in the Dark. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. The perfect way to play this game. Uh, thank you all so much, everyone, for, for joining in. Bye, all. <laughs>